Hi guys and welcome back to Bad Hair Adventures. We're um, doing a seven mile walk around Sizewell Power Station, uh, Laceton Common, up towards Minsmere RSPB and then back down past the power station. Along the beach. Along the beach. And then later we're gonna go for a wild camp at Thorpe Ness. So join us. tree has completely fallen over you can see the root system sticking out up over there and it's literally gone no up yours nature <laughs> i'm gonna live it's gonna grow anyway and just grown everything up out of it it's incredible it's like a metaphor for life <laughs> We just had a pint of lemonade at the eel's foot and we are now heading down the path that um, runs alongside Minsmere RSPB side that way So no dogs or cyclists are allowed here, so James has gone that way and we'll meet him further up because I want to show you guys this, the Layston Abbey Chapel.
12th century ruins of Leicester Abbey Chapel. You're not actually allowed to go in there. Plenty of people have, so they've filmed inside. I'm not going to go inside because it's not right, really. Um, but I will show you that during World War II, they actually built a little bunker inside, which is pretty cool. So we're on Sizewell Beach now. We've got the last little part of the walk. I don't know if you can see the dome in the distance. Uh, it's probably about a mile away. We'll head that way. No, I did last time. Either. There you go. I just don't like doing it. I'd much rather use a match. <laughs> Let's see. Cool. Nifty. I like it. Would you like some of this? Yeah. So I didn't bring the handles, that was my first mistake. <laughs> So it's going to be really hot. <laughs> but I couldn't put it directly on the flame because it basically just burnt the bottom. So we're going to boil some water for James's MRE and then uh, hopefully the steam will yeah. heat it up. <laughs> I have no idea. And what is it that you're eating? It's a beef tortellini from the French MRE that you bought me. Tortellini de boeuf. It's very nice. Mm, very nice. Yeah, it tastes like the tin stuff, which makes sense because it's in tin. <laughs> so we're just having our dinners. As you just saw, Mary's done her beef tortellini from a French MRE. I've got a uh, steak and vegetables from Wayfarer Meal. 
Uh, we're on Fultness Shingle Beach. It was a bit of a struggle putting the tents up. I think we need to invest in some more of those sand snow stakes. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the Lanshan 2. Dog's already in the bed. Mary's trying out my Zephyrus one. Obviously it's got dark now. So uh, we'll show you more in the morning. So we're just gonna eat, having a beer. And then uh, just relaxing to the sea. So I'm in the Zephyrus tonight. It definitely has more space than the Fox One. Slightly wider and it's not quite as low. So I don't feel like I'm in a coffin. Although I've still got this, so I'm not entirely sure what this is about. I don't know if I'm pitching on shingles, really a massive ball ache. So I think maybe that's something to do with it. Because the other end looks all right, does quite nice and taut, but this one's all slack and rubbish. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Go to sleep anyway. I'm already in bed, so <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go to sleep now. So. I'll see you in the morning. So the dog and I are in the Lanshan, Mary's in the Zephyrus. Um, it's about half past 11, just gonna try and get some sleep. There's uh, a bunch of yahoos having a party up the way. Uh, they're far enough away that we only hear them when they shout. But uh, it's quite a mild night. Apparently it's gonna rain at some point, so that'll be a nice test. I don't think I've ever had the Zephyrus in the rain, let alone the Lanshan. Uh, it was super tricky pitching it in shingle. It's unbelievable. But yeah, so uh, we'll catch you in the morning. It's about seven o'clock now. I didn't get a lot of sleep. There's some uh, partying yahoos about half a mile away at the beach. I think the wind was in the wrong direction, so whenever they shout at each other, you could the shouts broke like the silence. <sighs> Shattered. And then I woke up at <sighs> quarter past five. Emergency bathroom situation. No sunrise though, because it's been raining since. So I'm probably going to wake Mary up in about half an hour. We'll get some breakfast on the go. Pack up and head home, I think. So it's kind of up to half past seven now. I'll just give you a quick view of what my world looks like. So we've got El Pucho. Okay. At the porch. Just boiling up some... Uh, some water for some coffee. I'll flip the camera around and turn you around. Morning Mary. Morning. How did you sleep? Yeah, yeah it was alright. Not the best night's sleep, but better than Mersey. What have you got for breakfast? I have got strawberry muesli. Strawberry muesli. MRE. Nice. Well, I'll let you crack on. I don't on. know if it's nice. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Bella. No. <laughs> <laughs> she can't lick you because she's got muzzle on. Right. She just butt you in the face with it instead. <laughs> rubbed all the sand out of it into my beard. <laughs> so we're all packed up now. You see we've left no trace. Uh, we just got Karen. You're not supposed to wild camp here. We're like, yeah, we're leaving. So we head back to the car now. <laughs> 